Hey guys, it is me Aqua and welcome back to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. Today we are back on my single player world and are going to be doing some work. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into it. Alright guys, well, like last episode, I did a lot of work in between episodes that I have to show you guys. Uh, so I made like uh, signs and stuff to remind me and let's just go through them. I redesigned the chest room so this room is totally different you can check last episode and it was not like this uh, the reason I changed it is because I kind of felt it was way too unorganized because from here I can see every single chest with a 360 view my other chest room I had to walk around the entire room just to find something so I like it better this way because if I can't find something I can just pinpoint it by just turning and I like it better this way because we could put something in the middle Oh, and you might notice <clears throat> that these are on now. Uh, wink, wink. We'll get to that in a second. I farmed and mined. So if we go outside, uh, and I set up these, which I'll, which is another sign. Uh, I did mine some more, so we got 44 more diamond ore. That'll give us get us plenty of diamonds. Um, I farmed. So check in here. There's more vines. Uh, I wonder how much is in here. Okay, there's quite a few in there. So the farm does work. That is a proven fact that the farm does work. And we did a bit more in here. So it's like all the way up into here, up until there in the second chest, which is nice. Now let's get on to... Because like the last sign is one of the most important ones, which I can't wait to get to because it is so cool. Okay. Um, did some nether work and then died. So um, as you guys know, there's... I'm, I'm planning to build like a nether hub and I tried clearing out more of the nether rack and I did but I ended up uh, hitting a piece of lava and I died and I lost four diamond tools so I, I lost a diamond shovel, diamond sword, diamond axe, and diamond pickaxe but oh well I started smelting outside so that's obviously these over here and you might be wondering what I am smelting I'm smelting a lot of stone because I felt like I need more stone brick because last episode I could have used it for that but I didn't have any so I started smelting a lot of that which is nice um built all the lights show YouTube <laughs> a little note so as you can see uh, all the lights are actually hooked in over here uh, over here and I'll actually show you how I hooked them up too over here over here and lastly over here so yeah they're all hooked in real quick let me grab some redstone though because I think one piece is like missing or broken uh, so yeah let's just grab some of this okay uh, the next side has to do with this too um, redesigned attic room so yeah I redid everything over there and let me show you right now as you can see now there's a room here but before we go anywhere else let me try let me see what's wrong with the light over here oh yeah there's not a redstone thingy right there yep because I think I broke some of the redstone while working here anyway so this is the, the attic you probably already saw this part but then I added a door over here bam you might be oh you might be wondering what is that we'll go check that in a second so this attic will be like I kinda just decided this on the spot will be like the entrance to our room over there and the roof So if we come up here you could see that I brought the redstone line from under here and I brought it through here over here and that goes right under there and to the other places again I just brought it from the middle room I brought it out and through here and I did the same thing for every single one of them here also on this side see all the rooms are good but once we come out we can go through here and we have another huge room right over here which is nice so really uh, off camera I added like a whole new section of the house which is nice but yeah the one thing that I've always that I'm, I've been waiting to show you guys is the actual lights when they're turned off because in my opinion it is so cool so this is the light switch so if I turn it off bam lights out and if we turn it on lights back on I just find that so cool I love redstone so much Okay, next one, sword and fallen zombie. So, I was fighting a zombie and I dropped a sword. So, yeah, 
I don't even know why I just did that. I just found it funny. Um, okay, so one thing, this isn't what I did, but I what I'm planning to do this episode is I have to make a to-do list. Because... Uh, yeah, I just feel like I should have a little bit more organization because I feel like every episode I come in not knowing what to do and then I just kind of pick something at random. So yeah, this episode we're going to be making a to-do list somewhere. And I have no idea where I'm going to put this to-do list, but I'm thinking maybe right over here, which I just made up on the spot, maybe right here since it's like right next to the bed. Yeah, so again, just a recap of what I did off camera is redesign the chest room to be way better. Farmed and mined, did some nether work and then died. Started smelting outside for stone. Built all the lights, which is so cool in my opinion. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Okay. And I, like, I'm not gonna lie. I actually didn't know how to hook up the redstone. But I think I did a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie. I think I did a good job. I redesigned that room. We don't have rooms for these ones because I just didn't have enough. But we do have rooms above this and over there. Uh, the fallen sword and we gotta make a to-do list so now we can take these signs down well guys before we do the to-do list i do want to build something which is a couple armor stands because one or two episodes ago i said i wanted to make these to hold my armor and yeah i think it's a pretty good time to do it right now and let's actually make quite a couple armor stands i mean i don't see why not so i think 11 will be enough bam 11 armor stands. Quickly, let me grab the rest of this armor. Actually, I think we might need more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I have 4 pieces on me. So yeah, we're going to need like 1 more. What are you doing today? Kind of revolve around this room right here. Because I felt this room was like super empty. So I do want to add some things to this room. Including the armor stands. Uh, where can we put some more? Put one there. Put one there. You know what? We'll put one right here. It's like a on like ready to go armor stand. I'll probably put some like iron armor on there or something. Okay, so let's take our armor off. And nope, 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 not there. I need this one to go over here. So this is gonna be like one set of armor right here. And that's our first set of armor. And, nope, and I, <laughs> I don't want it on me. I want it in my inventory. This will be another set over here. Okay, and then another set's going to be that, that, and that. So we do have a couple filled up already, which is nice. But now it's time to do the to-do list. I'm just going to put, like, the title. Where, where is the middle? Um, okay, I think right here. To-do list. Okay, to-do list. Alright, well I just finished up the entire to-do list because I ended up recording me, like, thinking of all the things, but it took like a million hours, so let's just go through each of them. Some of the things we have to build is a fishing hole, cocoa or cacao farm, witch farm, wood farm, that's not with redstone, not like that, uh, melon farm, mushroom farm, I have, I still have to fill up the pool, a gold farm, fight the wither, fight the dragon, a seed farm for wheat, Auto anvil dispenser, uh, potion setup, pumpkin farm, mob grinder, ultimate super smelting room, mob farm, nether hub, squid farm, flower farm, ice farm, firework making setup, ender pearl farm, spider skelly farm, potato farm, and carrot farm. Yeah, so that is a lot of things on our to-do list, and we'll probably be adding even more. Um, I'm guessing we should actually pick one to do today, or at least start on today, and... I mean, obviously, some of them are out of my reach, like I can't fight the wither or the dragon yet. And I don't have, like, a, a spider spawn or anything. I obviously don't have ender pearls. I don't want to start the fireworks set up, but there's a couple things that I can make. Um, like, one would be... Hmm, maybe maybe the cocoa farm. The cocoa farm. This, this is what we could do today. So let's start grabbing our materials. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's just use all of this for chests. And I did some uh, wood chopping, if you haven't noticed either. Um, so let's, let's. How many chests can we make with all this? So with one stack of logs, we can only make. Let's see how many chests we can make with one stack of logs. 
With one stack of logs, we can make 32 chests. It's actually not that bad, actually. I am happy with that. Let's do this. So yeah, again, I'm wasting all my iron just because, really, I, I can't waste it on anything else. So it does not matter to me. Uh, okay, so let's just grab all of that. Okay, I think I, I'll be fine with 14 chests. And actually, 41 hoppers will be more than enough for this project. So I'm not going to even go get the iron that's in the furnace. I'll just get those when I need those. So let's head outside and actually speak up. Yeah, pick a spot. No, pick a spot. I'm actually really, really surprised that that iron got me enough. Okay. So, and this will go down, by the way, guys. This won't be like a permanent thing. Again, another thing on my to-do list is to build an ultimate smelting place. So that will obviously go down. I mean, we could just go with the generic. We could build it right here, which is pretty obvious. And yeah, you know what? I'm thinking we'll build it right here. Um, Though, I don't know how to build it. Like, I actually... I actually haven't even put this around in my head yet, so I'm going to have to do a lot of just testing right now. So, let's just build it a couple more wide, maybe up until here. I think that's a little bit of a stretch, but I think that's fine. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure pistons can push like eight blocks or so. One, two, three, four, five... Hold on, it all depends how far I can reach up to. Can I put beans up there? Okay, I think that's how tall it should be because um, if I can't reach it, then there's no point. Let's move it over here because if the redstone comes through the back, I really don't want to hit any building. So let's move it over here and we'll cut. Whoa, <laughs> that was a perfect time to jump, by the way. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll bring it up until here. And then let's place these down. Like so. Yep. Let's clear some stuff around it. Or the a redstone. Okay. And I will have to fill in those holes. Yeah, because originally, if you watch like the old episodes when I first came to the spot, all the land that I... All the land that I'm standing on is not flat. I flattened it out. So there's still like a lot of holes and stuff under me. Okay. So let's fill up. Fill up. No, fill up. Let's fill up these holes over here. Three, four, five, six. The thing. Okay. So if this is where it's going to go. We need the piston to be right here over on here okay so we'll have to do this because the piston will have to go on the bottom of this so for now let's just fill in all all the wood which is gonna take quite a bit of time but oh well so yeah we'll do this slowly I don't want to mess anything up about this farm I want this to be a simple and casual process. All right, so a large section of it is done. I didn't even—I didn't even realize how huge this was. Like, wow. Okay, because my the old cocoa farm or cacao farm that I built was not this size. Again, for this series, I'm going like I'm going all out, sort of. I mean, I know it could be bigger than this, but I still do want to keep it at like average level but yeah this I've never built one this big so really how this is going to work is obviously if the cocoa or cacao is right there and if I make this go up like if this piston pushes it up this will all break and I'm uh, planning it to all break and go into hoppers right here and then when I and then the next time I need to redo it I'll push that and it'll push it down and then all of it will fall down here uh, so let's get some of the hoppers set up and I would make this like a dual I could make it like a dual farm. So there's cocoa over here and cocoa over here Actually, that would be a pretty great idea. The only problem is I don't know how the redstone would work out for that hmm. And I'd probably need more hoppers Because again, I do want to make it double layered Double layered 
Okay, but again, it's all part of testing. Alright guys, so let's do a bit of an update. As you can see, a lot of work has been done. So the control panel is going to be right here. The top button obviously activates the top pistons, and the bottom button obviously activates the bottom piston. So as you can see, if I push the button, all those go up, and if we push this button, all of those go down. So when I plant the cacao or cocoa, they'll fully grow, and I can push them up, and everything will fall in the hoppers. And then I can replant them, and then when they're done, I can push them back down, and all of them will fall back into the hoppers. <laughs> And I have decided to make this a dual farm, so the back will be also used, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go through what I've done so far with the redstone. So with this button, I, I don't even know like what, the, what its specific name is called, but I just brought it down so this redstone gets activated whenever I push the button, which turns this off. Obviously, you can see this wire goes all the way down here. Since it didn't go far enough, I had to kind of like do a little bit of redstone workings and loop it around and bring it all the way up until the end. And the top is just a bit more simple because we don't have any of that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to pillar up there. So if we go up here, obviously this is the top button. I did another thing with the torches. I did like a torch tower and brought it up here. If we come up here, I just, since again the redstone didn't go far enough, I just did a little thing like this and brought it all the way up in the, until there. But now I'm just going to kind of have to, I'm going to have to put the hoppers in and decorate it a bit. So I'll see you guys when... Uh, a little bit more progress is done. Alright everybody, another little update. I have set up the hoppers and this is where the chest is going to go. So yeah. Alright guys, another quick update. I finished up some of the bottom layers over here. And I started putting in some of the glass, which is nice. But I am cooking up some more glass because I do not have enough just yet. Alright guys, a little, another little update. Uh, I started building the chest room. Alright everybody, so this is going to be the final update because the farm is done. In my opinion, this is going to be a beast farm. I mean, just from looking at it, this is, this is going to work very well. So yeah, it's actually done, so now you guys can just take a look at it. Alright, so I know I'm going to be using this farm a lot, just because at this point, like, none of these farms, like, help, like, way too much, but I just, like, kind of, like, love getting things, and this, if we go inside, this is going to get us a lot, and I guess I'll take you guys through every step, because I know from the, like, the last jump to this jump, it's a pretty big jump, because I just decorated the entire thing, so, I finished up the glass, I obviously put, like, a trim of brick around there, this is... This is like there's redstone inside of there that leads over there. This is obviously like the control panel under there. There's redstone. I added this chest room right here. So the hoppers go through here. And then there's a line of hoppers that go like straight through here. And then from there it just drops down and it brings it to all of these. Obviously the next thing I have to do is actually fill up the farm with cocoa or cacao. And I do not have enough but after some grows I think it will be fine. But yeah let's just take another look at it. Uh, so you guys can get a good feel, because I know the jump cut was, like, pretty big. So, a lot happened between the two jump cuts. And the top looks like this. I'm actually going to jump over here. So if you guys are wondering what the top looks like, this is what the top looks like. In the top of the sugarcane farm, that's how it looks like. I don't know if I showed you guys last episode, but yeah, that's how it looks like. There's, a, there's the clock right there. So let me jump back down. So again, I don't have enough cocoa or cacao to fill it, it up yet, but uh, let's take it up and fill up as much as we can. Uh, so yeah, for now, let's just like spam it because, of course, we don't have enough, so it really doesn't matter where it goes. Yeah, let's just fill up this entire thing as much as we can. We'll wait to we'll wait for it to grow, but by next episode, everything should be grown. I can almost guarantee you that that every single thing will be grown by next episode but you know what I think this turned out really great when I started building this I thought it was like I didn't know what I was going into but I am actually really 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 happy with this and if I haven't explained yet these doors are because I do have to go replant the cocoa or cacao after so uh, it is a dual farm I know in the beginning of the episode I didn't say I thought it was gonna be like a single farm but it is a dual farm so I did add uh, places for cocoa or cacao on both sides 
So yeah, with everything like maxed, I should be able to get at least like 10 stacks of cocoa every t every harvest, which is pretty crazy, but that's just my complete estimate. So yeah, uh, hopefully I've shown this off enough because I really do want to show you guys how like this works. So again, if I push this button, uh, the pistons push up the wood and that will break all the cocoa and then I bring it back down. When I bring it back down, I'll be able to put the cocoa or cacao back and then repeat and repeat. But yeah, guys, I'm really glad this farm is done. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed. I'm going to be using this farm a lot. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.